Hey, I've been having some really bad dreams. It's, uh, it's been really weird. <laughs> um, do you ever have dreams about the ocean? Just really deep water that you can't see through? Um, I've been having those. And dreams where you're on a really tall building, where you're really high up in the air. Maybe you're falling or the fear of falling. Dreams with orca whales and sharks. Scary things to me. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not pleasant trying to fall asleep. And you, you have a dream where traffic ahead of you stops and you can't quite break in time. Sometimes you wake up before you rear end the car in front of you. All of these are examples of dreams I've been having and I just wake up and I lay there and I think about every mistake that I've made. I think about <sighs> earlier this year, getting scammed. You know, uh, why didn't I just do something else? Why didn't I do this? Why didn't that person do this? Why did this happen? How could I be so silly? I wish I could go back in time and change things. I can't believe I've made such terrible mistakes. You think about any missteps you've taken in life, any bad decisions, any anything you've done you're ashamed of. And your brain goes, hey, look at this, look at this thing. It feels horrible. It feels horrible. Then at work, you know, the next day, maybe you're tired or something. You go on a lunch break and you're like, that same feeling is there. That anxiety, like, am I doing the right thing? Why am I here at this place now? Did I make a mistake going to this place? Uh, what am I doing here? That kind of anxiety that hits you where you feel like you're the sum of all your mistakes and bad decisions. And it feels hopeless. It feels... Painful. And that kind of hopelessness and pain I would describe as a self-loathing. You're not just frustrated with the decisions you made. You're not just frustrated with mistakes. You're not frustrated only with the problems that you've brought about in your life or avoided. Okay, I avoided a car accident and I have nightmares about it. And it, everything turned out fine. I would call that self-loathing. And you kick yourself for it. And that's why I'm describing it as that. I felt this really strongly last week. This week has been better. But last week, it was brutal. I was on my lunch break on the a high floor of a building. <laughs> Just eating lunch. My palms get sweaty as I sit there in the chair. Uh, there's a, you know, a little table on a balcony and it's nice to eat lunch outside because I work in an office, right? But, uh, heights kind of scare me. Uh, I was sitting there thinking about this feeling, thinking about what my brain is doing, thinking about how, why now, what is going on? And kind of wallowing in that hopeless feeling, not wallowing like, like giving in to it and everything is horrible and I just admit that and that is the truth. No, no, no. Sitting there like just acknowledging that I feel horrible. Okay. Okay. What makes that better? How do you get out of that? How do you forgive yourself for making mistakes? If my toddler makes a mistake, do I just constantly hound him for, <laughs> like, uh, remember that time last week that you broke mama's drinking glass? <laughs> what a fool. Oh my Lord. What kind of, what, what kind of monster would you be to do that to a child? And that was just last week, right? What if I did that years ago? Remember when you were learning how to eat, you'd always spit up your food? <laughs> what a dummy. Like, if you saw that, 
you'd, you'd feel violent towards that person for treating children that way. But that is how your brain is treating you, Luke. <laughs> and anyone else who relates to these kinds of thoughts. That is how your brain is treating you. It's, it's taking mistakes you've made. It's taking problems in the past. Even problems that aren't problems anymore. Even problems you've never experienced. I've never been in the middle of the ocean with orcas and sharks trying to eat me. Okay? Uh, <laughs> and sitting there, I, I found something that was helpful. There's, there's plenty of mental exercises I've used to get out of this space in the past. And I will share them with you in a later video. Uh, and somewhat here. But... Uh, I started listening to a song. <laughs> I know this is silly, but it was Starman by David Bowie. <laughs> and it just felt uplifting. Okay? <laughs> it, it felt uplifting. And I, I started employing those mental techniques from the past where what works for me to get out of it is, is to sit and like feel the emotions, to think of the details that my brain is bringing me. You know, oh, car crashes and getting scammed, you were such a fool. Whatever, whatever the thing is, sit with that emotion and acknowledge that that's in the past. <laughs> and uh, Sorry, I'm laughing about the Starman thing. It was, it was actually a video a friend sent me of someone almost getting hit by a train and, and their friend, uh, you know, or their coworker dives across the train tracks and saves him from the train and Starman is playing in the background. Um, and it kind of like that video thinking like, oh God, this guy's gonna get hit by a train. He got saved by the dude. And the song mixed with the someone's looking out for you message of that video, it just kind of like shook me. It just shook me. And I was like, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting caught in this negative spiral of thought. I'm getting caught, I'm trapped by my own mind with things from the past that have already happened, I can't change, and I'm kicking myself while I'm down. I'm being really, really mean to my internal toddler. So that's what I do. Uh, I just sit with the emotion and I feel it and I try to understand that these things happened in the past and I can't change them. And what am I doing now? Am I driving too fast on the freeway and rear-ending cars? Am I jumping in the ocean and, and like cutting myself to attract sharks? Like what? <laughs> am I on top of that ledge where I eat lunch and I'm just gonna jump off? No, no. I am doing good things. I'm taking care of my family. I'm trying to expand my my income by by building a business, by working hard at my current job. Um I'm working out regularly. I'm doing what I can to increase the joy in my marriage. I, I'm never answering the phone again to <laughs> scammers. <laughs> Focusing, not you move from how you're feeling to what you're actually doing now. And if what you're doing now is a good thing, and you're making progress going forward, then I get really excited. I get really like pumped up, like, yes, you know, I can make the future better than the past was. I can make things better than they were. I don't have to make the same mistakes. I don't have to drown in the ocean, and I don't have to beat myself up over these <sighs> past fumbles. And I can't stop the dreams. I can't stop random thoughts that'll pop up, but I can train myself over time to forgive myself, to let it to let it go, to tell myself that I'm a better person now. I've learned from these things and it's not going to happen again. Try to train my subconscious to not torture me with these things. That'll help the sleep. But actively during the day, I need to acknowledge that I can't change the past and I can do better going forward. And related to many other videos I've made, it's if you're focusing on what you're doing now, you have a written plan, you wrote down all the steps that you need to take to get whatever your goals are done, you're going to be just fine. Just work that plan and do your best to not make those mistakes again. And if you do, it's another learning opportunity, okay? 
somehow there's the simplicity of that. I, I feel like I'm not quite conveying the, the good heaviness of pulling myself out of that self-loathing state. It's, it's such a good feeling to get pumped up, to get excited about what you're doing in life. And as a whole other separate video of like finding the thing that makes you excited. But for me, that's, that's what helps is focus on the right now and what I'm doing and make sure every day I'm taking a little step forward and not making the same mistakes. And if all that else fails, uh, I'll just go put on Starman and jam out. So have you ever related to any of these feelings? You ever wake up with bad dreams? How do you pull yourself out of that kind of self-loathing spiral? Because it's a dark place to be, and I hope you're not there right now. I hope you feel better, and I, I hope you give yourself permission to forgive yourself and move past these things and do better into the future, because you're going to be just fine. If you survive that, you're going to be just fine going forward, and you're not going to do that again. Here's to all of us, right? Hang in there. Good luck. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.